As we begin our path to enlightenment, we become aware of the internal monologue that never stops. This insight dawns on us, and we start keeping an eye on that chatter in our heads. Interesting as it may be, this voice is not a thought, but rather the acknowledgement of one. At that instant, we become cognizant of the internal monologue, and this consciousness is not a thought either. The presence of our higher consciousness ushers in a radically new state of consciousness. This is the heart of true enlightenment. The capacity for introspective awareness of one's own mental processes and actions. Meaning that you are aware of yourself and your surroundings. As we move forward, it will be crucial that we train ourselves to be fully present in the here and now. Then and only then can we know what it means to have a genuine spiritual awakening. Let's not just talk about it, let's really feel it in our bones. This spiritual aspect of consciousness, which some have dubbed spaciousness or higher consciousness, refers to a more profound level of insight than what is typically accessed in the course of a typical day. It's a facet of awareness that helps us feel more attuned to the world and more aware of our place in it. Many people, however, are unaware of this dimension because their thoughts are too preoccupied with other things. When we delve into the spiritual realm, we discover that we have an inner monologue, a never-ending stream of thoughts and observations. It's fascinating to keep an eye on this inner monologue, to acknowledge it as something distinct from who we really are. We are not that inner monologue, but rather the consciousness that is aware of it. It's a common fallacy to think that our thoughts are our own. In reality, we are being influenced by another form of thought. This insight has the potential to be both humbling and freeing. The great masters of the past have taught us that we must be empty before we can receive their wisdom. But how? When our brains are cluttered with thoughts. The idea of nothingness holds the key. This translation of the Buddhist term sunyada as emptiness is not always accurate. A lack of substance or value is not necessarily implied by emptiness. Instead, it suggests that nothing is truly separate from anything else in the universe. The absence of something is not a vacuum, but a fullness. It's a mental state in which one is unencumbered by thoughts and can fully appreciate the here and now. It's a heightened state of consciousness in which we can communicate with our spiritual selves and the cosmos. Let us not forget, as we progress along our spiritual path, the value of humbling ourselves and seeing things as they really are. Please let me suggest another way of expressing the Buddhist concept of emptiness. Vacancy or openness is a central idea in religious and spiritual practice. When asked how he could possibly instruct his students on sin, the Zen master replied, by having them empty their cups. For me, the term spaciousness refers to a metaphysical state of mind, a spiritual dimension, if you will. Many people aren't able to access this heightened or expanded state of consciousness because their minds are so cluttered with trivia. This disorganization prevents so many people from awakening their latent capacity for spaciousness. Through developing an appreciation for this openness, by clearing our minds of unnecessary information, we can connect with our true inner consciousness. In my opinion, this is a major turning point on the path to enlightenment and improved self-awareness. The greatest insight in life is more valuable than any material success. Life's ups and downs, achievements and setbacks are nothing more than transitory states of being. The mental clutter blurs our vision, but occasionally we catch glimpses of reality beneath the surface. Under all that mayhem, there is a sense of openness, one that is frequently disregarded or ignored. Spirituality lurks in the background, but only if one takes the time to look for it. Those who have never been exposed to the concept of spirituality have nonetheless had fleeting experiences of it. These brief moments of insight are insufficient to reawaken their spiritual dimension, but they do represent a beginning, a ray of hope. We can learn to access this level of consciousness and realize the profound truth that resides within us through meditation and self-awareness. These epiphanies can sneak up on us in the form of a breathtaking sunset or the boundless expanse of the ocean or sky. Through the process of a spiritual awakening, one comes to recognize this inherent vastness and the realization that they are more than their thoughts, emotions, and external circumstances. Instead, 
they begin to understand that there is something more fundamental to who they are than just these external manifestations. This insight has the potential to change one's perspective and bring about a greater sense of inner calm, contentment and fulfillment. At that time, we are jolted into the here and now, experiencing a heightened sense of vitality that goes far beyond the routine of our daily lives. Although we may not be able to put our finger on exactly what it is, we are aware that it is something more substantial than our everyday lives. Insights like these help us stay grounded and make sense of the world even as we face difficult situations. They show us that there is a spiritual dimension to our being that we can access if we keep our minds and hearts open to the possibility. The more we practice being present and receptive to new information, the more often and for longer these insights will come to us, leading us to a more comprehensive comprehension of who we are and our place in the world. In that instant of unadulterated awareness, you felt at one with the very core of your being, filled with a heightened sense of aliveness and a profound peace. Nature's breathtaking scenery was a welcome distraction from my racing thoughts, which were inevitably about my current situation, my past, and my future. By focusing your entire being on the here and now, you were able to break through the mental barriers that had been holding you back. There in the silence of your own heart, you are at one with the part of you that transcends words and concepts. The essence of spiritual awakening is coming to terms with the fact that you are more than your thoughts and your experiences. Regardless of external circumstances, you can find serenity and contentment within yourself by developing a deeper understanding of this dimension. In these instances of unadulterated awareness, a curtain is drawn back, and we get a glimpse of the reality that lies beneath the surface of our regular lives. It's a world where time and space don't matter, and where the mind can create whatever it wants. It is a timeless, limitless, and all-encompassing reality. These occurrences serve as reminders that there is more to life than meets the eye, and can be compared to many awakenings. They show us how interconnected we all are, and how we are a part of something bigger than ourselves. For instance, looking into a baby's innocent and present eyes can bring us back to the here and now and help us to see the world in a fresh way. When we are receptive and open, it can serve as a reminder that our thoughts and judgments are not the only way to understand the world. In those brief intervals, your mind is at rest and you experience a profound sense of calm and expansion. It's like a mini flash from the spiritual universe, though most people probably wouldn't put it that way. It's possible to feel a profound connection to another person without using words or passing judgment as you take in the splendor of nature or gaze into the eyes of a child. Some people only need these brief glimpses of the world's beauty to be reminded that life is worth living. Others, whose minds are constantly bombarded by external stimuli, will never see it. It's possible that they'll look at a baby and give it a positive label without recognizing the consciousness that glistens in its eyes. However, for those who are able to make that spiritual connection, even if only for a moment, it serves as a reminder of the greater meaning and purpose of life, beyond the mundane concerns and distractions that can cloud our minds. Spiritual awakening is not a destination, but rather a journey of self-exploration and growth that never ends. Living from a place of greater awareness, compassion and wisdom is possible the more we become aware of the underlying spaciousness within us. These instances of expanded consciousness and communion with the spiritual realm have the potential to drastically alter the course of our lives. They provide temporary respites from the stresses of daily life by allowing us to experience a sense of expansiveness, calm, and a more profound sense of being. Therefore, I encourage you to reflect on such times in your own life and work towards developing a stronger bond with your spiritual self. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe button so we can keep you updated on future videos.